Hey guys, in this video I'll be starting my new tutorial series for a React to Truffle app. Those are the type of videos I've noticed that you guys have been most interested in. Number one was I was doing videos on the shuffle boxes, which were already completed project more or less that you could run out of the box. Um, but they were a little difficult to run unless you had experience, unless you worked out all the little kinks. So I made a couple of videos to go over some of these more popular boxes, like the Shrizzle box. Um, particularly there was one on React, which had some popularity. So I decided that since React is so popular, since Shuffle and Ethereum and Blockchain are getting popular, um, to just create a tutorial series instead of just following these tutorials. Um, therefore, these tutorials will take more videos. They'll be a little more um, into all the details of how to run everything. Uh, but we can get started. So what I did was I created a create React, create Truffle app folder on my desktop, and I ran a Truffle on it, and that Truffle on it um, ran up to here and created this contract, migration, and test folder. Um, this is just migration stuff, but it's the default of a Truffle net project. Um, Truffle is nice because you'll see there's already like a test folder, a way to write your contract, a way to like migrate to your blockchain so you can do quick testing, and there's a bunch of configuration options. Um, so it's much faster than just creating a standalone Solidity project from all from scratch. Um, the next thing I did was I went to this React. I went to the React website and I looked up how to create a React app and the simplest way for people who are learning, um, and this will be building a single page application. So if you want to make a more complex application, this might not be the right place for you. Um, but if you want to just start simple, you can use this npx create react app um, and then your app name over here. So that's what I did. Um, so I called it clients. So it created this client folder um, over here. Um, but it took a little while to run, so I just ran it before I started recording. But I did npx create React app client. Um, it did all the stuff, downloaded a bunch of dependencies. Um, and it finally became successful. Okay, so that's basically what you need to start a React Truffle app. Um, I'll just do a few commands to, for a few sanity checks. So I'll do a truffle develop, which will start a um, local blockchain environment. And I'll do a compile, which will compile, uh, where is it? This contract, migrations.soul. Um, uh, just taking a little while. After that, I'm gonna do a migrate. And that'll just verify that we can compile and migrate basic code. Um, there's no test right now, so we can't test it, but that's okay. Um, and after that, I'm going to show you... I could probably do this anyway, um, since there's no code connected to my um, backend code at the moment. So I'll just create a new tab, um, since currently I'm in my Truffle develop environment. Oh, okay, it finally finished. Okay, so that took a while, took a little longer than I expected, but I did compile. Um, if you were not in this Truffle develop, develop environment, you'd have to do a Truffle compile. Um, it compiled, and I'll do a migrate. Um, we'll probably want to upgrade that um, Soul C compiler version. So we can use an updated version of the file, but that'll be another video. And we have deployed our contract onto the blockchain and it costs um, this amount of Ethereum. Okay, so that works. So now I don't want to be in a shuffle develop environment since I want to run my client code. So let's go into client. Mm, 
directory clients, and then npm start. This will actually start running our client code that we just ran, and it's going to be a hello world page. But this is just an initial sanity check that things work. Um, in the next video, I'll probably go over how to write your basic contracts and how to use Web3 to connect to them. Um, but we'll see. So, connecting at localhost 3000. And then yeah, I think this is the whole page. It says edit app.js to save and reload. App.js is source app.js. Okay, so that's all for the video. Um, I'm also starting to put this on GitHub. So anyone who wants to download the project and follow this tutorial over time can download it. Um, but thanks all for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.